on YouTube. This is crazy because it just took like about one month for us to grow that fast. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It is time to celebrate and we're gonna be celebrating by drinking some mimosas because yes, it is like 11 a.m. in the morning. I didn't think shots were the right direction and I'm also gonna be answering some questions that I asked you to ask me on my Instagram. Honestly, I am speechless. I am so grateful. I don't want to cry right now. I have been manifesting this ever since I started this YouTube channel and I can't believe we're growing so fast already. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! I think it's champagne. Honestly, I don't know. I'm not too familiar with like alcohol. I just went with like the cute bottle and the cheap option. <laughs> and if you can't relate with me, God bless you, girl, because you'll be drinking some good ass champagne. I have some berries, my water, because girl, at this age, hungovers are the worst. And we also have our freshly squeezed orange juice. Just kidding. It's a box orange juice, but it's gonna work okay drunk we're not even gonna feel it we're gonna do it the bougie kind of way and we're gonna be popping champagne instead of taking <gasps> tequila shots i've been wanting to do this video for the longest time like a drunk get ready with me but i've always been like oh, i don't have anyone to do it with but you know what i learned that i can have fun just by myself and i really like my own company oh my god i'm so scared drink in a while and it's always good to just have a, a good drink in good company we're gonna pour some orange juice do these even go in here i feel like they're just gonna block this okay i never mind i'm just gonna put one here even though that looks so ugly <laughs> i should have bought some strawberries instead but mm. isn't this the prettiest mimosa ever oh my god cheers i remember getting my very first legal mimosa in vegas when it was my 21st birthday and i say legal because your girl had tried mimosas before okay anyways hi my name is karina berenice if you're new to the channel hello nice to meet you kind of weird to introduce myself but <laughs> This is how I like to make friends. I'm pretty fun, so if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. It's a good mimosa. <clears throat> I'm gonna be drinking for every question. <laughs> no one asked me to get drunk, okay? So the very first question is, where are you from and where did you grow? I am from Sonora, Mexico. It is a border state from the US and I was born in Hermosillo. It's the capital of Sonora. I grew up there. Well, when I was around five, six, my parents brought me to the US and I've been living here since. So it's like half and half. I can honestly say I am from both parts, but I am really, really close to my family in Mexico. So I know a lot of my culture. The next question is, when is my birthday? I was born November 6th. No, I was born November 4th, <laughs> 1996. That's where I got confused. So that means I am 25, even though I do not look like it. A lot of people say that I look younger. It is honestly so flattering when they tell me that I look younger. What is my sign? I love it when they ask me that because I am a proud Scorpio. But if you want to know a little further about me, I am a Scorpio sun, Leo moon, and Sagittarius rising. I honestly feel like those are the best three signs. Mimosa number dos. Cheers! It's actually really good. My favorite color is like a corally, orangey, pink color. It is so unique. That's the color I wore for my quinceañera, but in like pastel version. And I know this is kind of out of context, but I 
loved my dress and i feel like up to this day this dress is not going to ever go out of style because i decided to go for like a very timeless design and color it's so pretty the next question is what is my favorite color to wear as you can see and if you've been following me my closet is so colorful i feel like for my skin tone darker colors look better on me but i still wear anything literally anything i'm not gonna lie this mimosa is already hitting me what's my favorite thing to eat i am so obsessed with noodles right now ramen asian food in general ever since i decided to try noodles that's what I crave every single day. And I just have to admit that I love Chick-fil-A. You could give me Chick-fil-A for the rest of my life, I would eat it. My fiance doesn't like it anymore, but that's because he gets the grilled chicken sandwich. And that is not the vibe. The vibe is the original spicy chicken and the waffle fries. Ugh. This is such a random question. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite bagel and i love it i would say my favorite type of bagel would be everything bagel even though i prefer croissants rather than bagels and it would definitely be a bacon ham and cheese bagel oh my gosh so delicious now that i think about it i'm hungry oh my god i'm forgetting about my water water commercial Mimosa numero tres. You guys, these are so good. I love mimosas. Anyone want to go for bottomless mimosas? <gasps> I'm already feeling a little too happy. <laughs> what is your favorite hype song? Oh my god, I have too many. But I feel like if I had to pick one. I said, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> you know which one? It's a classic. It's a it's a 2000 classic. <laughs> I remember my grandma and my mom being like, "Don't listen to that. It's el diablo." <laughs> Next song. No, sorry. Next question. Turn off. So my biggest turn off, I can really like you as a person, but if you're rude to like service workers or like customer service, mm-mm. -mm. That is just gonna cut it off for me. Previous to this content creation job, I worked in a restaurant and retail and anything that you can think of that is like customer service, I worked. I know that when I make it big, I am going to understand the struggle and I am just gonna always appreciate that service. And I am honestly so humbled. Favorite <laughs> childhood memory is probably playing Barbies with my older sisters. I feel like that's why I'm so attached to creating nostalgic content because it just brings those memories. Inner child healing. Yes, that's what it is. I am obsessed with Barbies and I can really say that it's because of that. Okay, these are getting too personal and I'm already getting too drunk and honestly, like... <laughs> So if you could talk with little you now, what would you say and what would she say? <laughs> I do not want to cry in this video. <sighs> I've always been into performing. I always did like singing contests, pageant contests, because I knew I was for this. I knew I wanted to be on a stage. I, I knew I wanted to be seen. So the fact that I am doing this now, like really shows that I was meant to do this all along and that my hard work has paid off. So what I would say to her is that, what I would say, is that I'm taking care of her and that she is going to be so proud of what she becomes. <laughs> Again, I come from a very humble background and just seeing myself in this position now, having the privilege to just make content and not having to work. Like my parents worked so hard for us to have this life. It's just such a blessing because they opened our path and they and they made it easier for us to achieve our goals when they set aside theirs. 
And for that, I'm going to be forever grateful because they chose us instead of them. What is something you learned that you would tell your 18-year-old self? That you need to stop pleasing others because while doing that, you are losing yourself. If you can meet the past you or future you, who would you pick? I know for a fact that I wouldn't want to know what my future self is because I don't want to sabotage what I am today. If I have to pick her, I would honestly pick my past to just reassure her that everything's gonna be okay, that everything is gonna go according to plan. Okay, so that childhood section is done, over with. Thank God. When did you decide you wanted to go fully into fashion? Have you always liked fashion? Yes. As a Mexican, it is very common to go well-dressed to like clubs. Thing that you are not going to see here. Girls just go in jeans and like a crop top here to the bars. But... <laughs> <laughs> in mexico it is the complete opposite you have to go like in a dress heels hair curled makeup fully done so i feel like that did play a huge role on who i am today and why i love to dress up so yes i have always been into fashion it doesn't mean i was really great at fashion like 10 years ago but i have always loved it how do you know how to layer clothes or jewelry i try but i look ugly First of all, I beg you, do not talk down to yourself like that. I am 100% sure you do not. It's just your cognitive telling you you do, but do not say that. Um, And on the layering and clothes, it's honestly trial and error. I know I make it seem like it's super easy, but behind the scenes, trying on things taking them off, trying more things, because how are you gonna know that things look good if you don't try them on? Help, girly, how do you truly find your aesthetic? So, you truly find your aesthetic by not following trends and stop caring about what other people might think at the end of the day you need to please yourself that is how you're gonna find your aesthetic if you watch my videos from last year i was so caught up in trends and i feel like i lost myself a little because i stopped being myself just to follow those trends and the fact that i was contributing to fast fashion is not okay do you always coordinate your bags with your shades because i love them um not necessarily depending what bag fits the complete outfit that's what i go for several of you asked me where i get my inspiration from and honestly i had to really think about this question because i don't have a specific person to be like oh i get it from her i would overall just say that i get my inspiration from old hollywood i would have loved to live back in the 50s 60s 70s 80s 90s early 2000s the 20s oh my god the fringe the pearl the feathers i do consider myself to be a glam person i do love to always look overdressed, well put together. But if I really had to pick an answer, it would just simply old Hollywood vibes. What is something I learned recently that you wish you knew years ago in the fashion industry? I used to be obsessed with Shein. Again, I come from a very humble background, so having new clothes was always a struggle i had hand-me-downs or like second-hand thrifting so when i discovered shein it was the most pleasing thing because you could get new clothes and everything was super cheap but i was not aware of the impact it would create nowadays if i would have known earlier about fast fashion i would have not contributed because i know that if we had all known about this before the these brands wouldn't be as big as they are today. Never mind, it doesn't look that bad. I kind of look cute. What product or clothing item will you love to create? And I know you'll make it happen. I love you. First of all, I love you too, girl. Thank you so much for always supporting. And I really, really, really wish to have my own accessories. 
line earrings necklaces belts purses because you know at the end of the day accessories is what makes or breaks your outfit but that is obviously talking in the future when i have more money to invest in it and i know it is going to be a success are you planning to do a fashion collab with other fashion YouTubers? That has never been brought up to my attention, but I would honestly love to. What has surprised you most about content creation? Brands will take advantage of you, as well as larger content creators that got the idea from you and will not credit you. Just saying. What do you say to people who say your style is too much? At the end of the day, I am not doing it for them. I am doing it for myself because I love it that way because I am 25 now and I decide to love myself regardless of what society has to say about me or whatnot. So honestly, I don't, I don't really care because I'm doing it for myself. And that's all. <laughs> the next question is, do you have a boyfriend? Yes, technically. Actually, he's my fiance. <laughs> this bitch has been dating him for almost 10 years now. And he decided to put a ring on it. How many ex-boyfriends do you have? Who is your favorite among them? This is actually super funny because I actually dated all of the soccer team. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I used to be a super nerdy, like no one in high school. So I actually just had one ex before my boyfriend and we just dated for like two months. It was, it was cute. Okay. He was my first kiss as well. My one and only is my fiance up to this day. <laughs> when looking for a boyfriend, did the way they dressed matter to you? Oh my God. When we first started dating, my fiance had no style. And he, he argues that he did, but honestly, no, he did not. He used to wear dress shirts with shorts no just no but throughout the years as i started learning about fashion i also taught him how to dress how to sell himself so we have both learned how to be just the perfect matchy couple you guys are so eager to know about my wedding honestly i'm eager myself because I don't really know much of what's going to happen. But the next question is, describe your wedding dress. Will you take us dress shopping? Of course. The thing is that I am going to go to like a boutique and try on dresses. But at the end of the day, I do know that my aunt is going to do my dress because she has done every single one of us's dresses from quinceañera to weddings to pageant. If you haven't watched my series, I recommend you do that. You can find them on my social media. I will go dress shopping because I don't know if I want a tight or flowy dress. So just by looking at myself with different dresses, I'm gonna decide whether I want this, this, or that. But the point is that my aunt is gonna be the one that is gonna make my dress. And the best part is that it's gonna be custom made. <laughs> I need to be drinking this mimosas, but with you, okay? I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun with myself, but I know I would have more fun with you. Have a lovely rest of your day. I'll be seeing you on my next video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like this video, and um, hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my fabulous videos. Anyways, thank you guys so, 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 so so much for watching my video i'll be seeing you on my next video adios